I just want to welcome to you all to Signal Art Centre and to our lovely exhibition, Pathless Land. And I would like to introduce you to um, Shodin, who would like to launch the exhibition and tell us a little bit about everything Sorry. that's happening tonight. <laughs> So do you want to start with yourself? Oh, there you are. Yeah, maybe if you do a little. No problem. Okay, well, hi everyone. Thank you all so much for coming. We really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm one of four of the artists. Um, two artists and two musicians. One was here. Um, yeah, this has been um, sort of an accumulation, really, of three years' worth of work. We first started in Artnet and some of the artists in Artnet are here. And Artnet, for those of you who don't know, is um, the, a group of artists, a forum for artists in the world who really support artists to work together and create work. And um, every year they invite artists to come together to do, um, if they were a collaboration. Um, so we joined together, having never really met each other, to do a collaboration under the theme of metamorphosis. And I think we all thought it was going to be quite a, like a six month project. And then we all hit uh, COVID. And we um, started our first year collaboration um, really through Zoom and WhatsApp um, and getting to know each other in this really unusual way and process. Mm -hmm. And some of the work you see has come from that. Um, and then and you'll hear soundscapes, you'll see it. It's a multidisciplinary really, um, exhibition. And um, if some of you might see there's a little um, a barcode, QR code on the side here that when you go into it, it's a website that we put together that documents our process throughout uh, the year. So I'm not going to spend too much Tom, I'm going to introduce you to show Dean. Yeah. But be before I do, I just want to say again, thank you to Artnet for bringing us together um, to, for this project. Also to Signan on all the staff. <coughs> thank you. For all your patience, really. <laughs> and now to put this project together, particularly Don as well, who's doing the um, video interview tonight, has really helped us with the soundscaping and the video work. And um, I'm sure I'm going to forget a million people that we have to thank. Yes. <laughs> and, and our adorable partners and family for coming to it, and for all of our family and friends, and for all of you for coming out. So thank you all so much. And uh, yeah, Shodin is an amazing contemporary artist herself. And thank you very much for it. Um, hi everyone. Um, thank you so much for inviting me um, here to open your exhibition. Um, it's been a privilege to kind of walk through the exhibition. I came yesterday and had a look at the work and um, I've kind of been reading the blog um, over the last two days and kind of getting to know the four artists um, practice and work um, has been great but what's really interested me has been um, kind of the process and how this exhibition has kind of come together and evolved and um, the this, this storying that happens and I suppose what they ended up creating over COVID was this really wonderful space of um, nurturing each other's practice and um, over kind of the three years of kind of discussions, sharing work, sharing walks, um, photos, pieces of music, you see this wonderful weave that kind of um, starts to um, evolve across across the three years um, it's kind of you know two years and then it, it starts to kind of evolve into a making and I um, there was just a, a poem that I noticed you had on your blog so I'm going to read that um, traveler there is no path the path is made by walking traveler the path is your tracks and nothing more traveler there is no path the path is made by walking by walking you make a path and turning you look back. So um, that's a poem by Antonio Machedo. It's called Border of a Dream. And um, I suppose in a way this exhibition is a little bit of a looking back. Um, a lot of it evolved over COVID. COVID was a difficult moment. 
um, for many of us, um, but it did cause us to pause and reflect in many ways. For some, for some, um, you know, there was trauma and there was illness, and I think the four artists have sat with all those thoughts of um, seeding things, creating spaces of quiet, um, creating spaces of ritual. I mean, there's so much ritual in like the walking practices um, and also in the egg and the kind of burning. So tra spaces of, tra of um, transforming too. Um, and there's a writer who I often go to um, called Donna Haraway, so you might know her. And um, I feel like you guys have created a space of kin um, over the three years and this wonderful friendship. And um, creativity is about that. But also, if we want to think about creating spaces of otherwise um, in times of kind of crisis like we have, ecological crisis, biodiversity crisis, we need to kind of come together and create um, a space of solidarity. So making kin, kin seems to me the thing that we most need to be doing to a world that rips us apart from each other. To be kind is to be kin. Um, and then Donna Haraway also says, our task is to make trouble, to stir up potent <laughs> response to devastating events, as well as to settle troubled waters and rebuild quiet places. We need to reworld, reimagine, relive, and reconnect with each other in multi-species well-being. So I feel like your exhibition um, and the show is a kind of generous um, weaving together of a spa space of well-being um, you know, through the breath, through the music, through connection with um, the different ecologies that you kind of walk through. So congratulations. Um, Thank you, Shadi. <coughs>